Transcription is the process by which DNA turns to RNA. Protein is produced from mRNA via translation. Today we will be discussing translation. To turn pre-mRNA to a more mature form, mRNA, introns are removed, a 5 cap is added, and that cap serves as a bonding site for the ribosome. To attach the ribosome, a 3 prime poly A tail is also added. Ribosomes are the site where translation takes place. Ribosomes have a small and large subunit. They are composed of RNA and proteins. It binds to the 5 prime end of mRNA, and they have an E, P, and A site. Francis Crick suggested that there was an adapter which provided a link containing nucleotides and enzymes between mRNA codons and the amino acid codes. This is how tRNA came into the picture. tRNA, transfer RNA, has an amino acid on its 3' prime end as well as an anticodon on the 5' prime end, which is antiparallel and complementary to the mRNA codons. Crick called this adapter molecule because adapters help connect incompatible items to make them work together, like an adapter to use an American phone charger plug to an Australian outlet. With the new MacBooks, they have this port for you to use and charge your phone or plug things into the side of the computer. See, this doesn't fit. This is where the adapter takes place. With this adapter, I can now plug it in and it helps them work together. Likewise, tRNA has the missing link which helped add the amino acids using base pairing rules. If an alteration prevented tRNA from acting as an adapter, let's say that this part was changed, We'll go back over here, such, a, such as a mutation of the DNA responsible for coding the tRNAs causing for a change in the shape of the tRNA, protein production would be significantly affected. See, it wouldn't fit. It wouldn't be a good fit. tRNA is a perfect match for the ribosomes. If the shape was changed, it would no longer be a good match and proteins would not be made.